What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Sket Dance, this time of episode 34. Uh, I think today's episode we've got the, um, from what I remember from the preview, we saw the little teddy bear kind of uh, animal things we saw with the new um, sub-teacher, uh, as well as seeing Roman, I'm pretty sure, so uh, we know they're going to be at least a part of today's episode, so uh, looking forward to this one. Uh, make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section, leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video, and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these daily reactions, and let's get right into the episode, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay. That oh, looks pretty good. Oh, and there's the girl we um that I usually point out that we haven't met yet. No, not quite manga, but some good artwork. Yeah, she's got an idea. Maybe she might, uh... Might bring that, um, what's her name? Sub-teacher in. But yeah, this now means that we've pretty much covered everything in this opening, doesn't it? So I'm kind of expecting it to change reasonably soon, I do imagine. This lady. The sketch. <laughs> doo, doo, doo. Awesome shot that one, isn't it? A sports day would be cool as fuck, wouldn't it? Very, uh, very classic trope. Shows like this sports day, culture festivals. Although this one, uh, this anime, of course, has pretty much gone against a lot of uh, a lot of kind of general school anime type uh, beats, hasn't it? Yeah, these little creatures. I think we saw them in the preview for today's episode. Of course, it still has many tropes, but um, it goes against quite a lot of them as well. very different intros the first ever member well first ever new member Craptastic. So you drew a manga to help teach draw a manga. <laughs> I guess it works. I'm not sure how well it will work. But, um, the logic's there, I guess. Top selling. The pen. G pen. Well, that's a big pen. Yeah, I think I've heard of that before. Not bad, but I mean, doesn't no teaching steps in there. It is just a, a, like she says, a bit of a motivational <laughs> battle. Well, 
Well, it it gets you introduced to a G pen and how powerful it can be, I guess. I mean, again, there is some certain upsides to this. Exactly, you guys are amateurs. So give it a chance. Green tone. He lost his helmet. A bottle of ink? Yeah. It says ink in it in English. I can just about read it though. Well, actually, it'd probably be the paper, right? Okay, you don't need to tell these guys this. <laughs> wow. That went well. Yeah, I'll give her that at least. She, she did build it up nicely. Again, she's teaching all this, but there's no student here to listen. <laughs> yeah, I do hear faces are the hardest part to draw. I don't know about manga, but I always found uh, faces quite hard to draw. And those guidelines never helped me once. These look better than what I do. That's for sure. Oh, I do understand a bit more now. So those speech bubbles are actually what she's saying to us right now. So she's explaining this to them, but this is also what's written in the manga. She's not just explaining the manga without it being in the manga, which was happening before, I think. <laughs> oh, there, Jack. <laughs> Just got to add it in there again for a dramatic effect. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind those characters. Again, they're never the best or the favourite characters from a show for me personally. As it is with this show, again, Switch is probably still my favourite character. Actually, definitely my favourite character still. But, um, I don't know, they don't quite find bo uh, Boston boring, but. Again, it's just, it's just like me being in a show almost. Like it takes my place. Uh, 
and the story. Die. Is that Boston's sister? Or is that fucking, uh, Hime? Almost looks a bit like a, um, a girl from Sailor Moon. I haven't watched Sailor Moon, but... Oh shit, she's got a stand! <laughs> she's got a fucking stand! There's been a lot of references in this one, hasn't there? I haven't actually seen a lot of these classics that they are referencing. I haven't actually seen almost any. Unfortunately. That one looked like, really like a stand from part 4. Almost like a mix of Koichi's and uh, the other guy. The one with the hand. Maybe. Her art was actually really good. Not being manga art, but just like realistic art. It's really good. So maybe we shouldn't actually take her down this manga line. I've heard being a manga artist is uh, hectic as well. And a lot of work, so again, maybe she could just stick to Joran. Oh dear. It was too good. The manual was too good. Fuck's sake. What the hell? <laughs> we really took some inspiration. Inspiration from that last segment with this uh, little turnover, didn't we? Okay, so this is where these crazy little animals come in, I imagine. She's just going to be working here forever now, then. I do really like her. Um, I was a little bit sad that she was leaving. But again, glad she's, uh, glad she's sticking around. Odakun. Tokaido. Never heard of that place. I had no idea. <laughs> oh, I'm guessing she was using the wrong kanji uh kanji definition. Well, the wrong kanji for because I think some words have two, two different kanjis or maybe even three different kanjis. And oh yes, it's so confused. And I understand. As a Japanese person, I don't understand that much because I I know they practice a hell of a lot. Um, I think it sure is quite a lot harder learning Japanese as a Japanese person than it is learning English as an English person. It, just from what it seems like. Again, I could be totally wrong. Ooh. 
We're done. <laughs> yeah, we're starting to have a charm to them. Except the meaning of it is awful. <laughs> With the otakus, of course. Of course you would be. Oh, there's another one of those little monsters. You know what, for a ghost, he isn't that scary. Though it is quite scary as a children's toy. Beta! <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. Oh, I thought... Oh god. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Poor little Spectre. Fuck's sake. <laughs> well, we never get that back now. You never get that back. I was very distressed about it. Yeah, I could understand how you feel like that. <laughs> very, very useless, but in a good way. Yeah, it's a very motivational and endearing person isn't she she just gets you behind her if you know what i'm saying you want to support her oh what's going on here isn't this yabas girl's sister could be wrong about that embarrassing is this how she speaks to the children <laughs> No, not over a fucking twisted ankle. You know what, she could probably work some wonders here. Although, if she was ever to move to young students, that might be a bit of an issue. Because the old, these students are these old enough to know that she's not talking sense. As soon as that age, we'll probably just believe whatever she says. Snakeman. <laughs> Again, this she would be absolutely sick of this type of stuff. But, like I said, you don't want to want her to be teaching these guys, just entertaining them. Do 
sure is. Again, she's just one. She's just a very supporting. You just want to support her, don't you? you want to get behind her. Like, like, like a bright light. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was a lovely little job we done there, wasn't it? This reminds me of <laughs> this fucking woman. Honestly, again, she'd probably be a pretty good fit if she could get the uh the actual academics right <clears throat> oh some acorns has he got the uh ah oh, he's got the doll nice bit beat up but i guess it kind of suits it That was lovely, wasn't it? It does kind of work on high school kids, sir. Uh, not they don't show it as much as they uh, as the young guys though, do they? But it still gives you still give those same feelings to these guys as well. Oh dear. They find it again. Oh. Ow. Yeah, stay away from this girl. <laughs> stay away. Yeah, that was a really wholesome episode, that last one, wasn't it? see what the uh, the next episode has in store as well as usual just gonna skip this ending just really don't care for it all that much don't like the song enough to listen to to sit through the uh sit the, through the visuals quiz puzzle mystery so this is the last people we see in the opening who i don't recognize Oh, it looks almost a bit like the fucking student council president. And the student council are involved. Enigma. That meant to be some kind of play with uh, Enigma from uh, from Batman. The Riddler. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, really awesome episode today. Again, especially love that second half. Uh, first half was uh, decent, but um, again, really wholesome uh, kind of second half of this with uh, the teacher. Um, obviously, the first half was just this kind of guide. Uh, did have some funny moments in there, but um, again, kind of classic Roman. Uh, again, second half was uh, very wholesome seeing the new teacher who has uh, been a great addition for me personally. We've only seen her in a couple of episodes, but um, I'm glad she stuck around and hopefully she'll be uh, staying around. She is very much a uh, klutz, but um, again, just got that very endearing personality, hasn't she? Very, uh, very lovely person. And uh, as long as people try their best, I think that's all you can kind of judge them on, um, not what they're actually kind of ultimately coming up with although um, in the workplaces and such that is what you're judged on so um uh, yeah that's um, unfortunately how the world works but um personally again i i, I love her uh, she's absolutely awesome uh because i'm awesome job with the kids today so did the uh so did, so did, so, uh, so did the sket dan as well they've done a really awesome job but uh, just very wholesome uh, lovely uh, lovely way to end off the episode uh make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode down in the comment section though leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions i'll be back tomorrow with episode 35 so hopefully you can join me then and enjoy the rest of your day guys